In this video, we will delete EC2 server in Amazon AWS. Log into Amazon AWS console. Search for EC2. Click on EC2 link. Click on instances. We have two surveys here. Currently, they are not running. These surveys have Elastic IP associated. Once you have deleted the surveys, you need to release the Elastic IP address or you will be charged for it. To delete the instances, click on the checkbox left side of the instance. From the instance state drop down menu, select terminate instance. It will ask for confirmation. Click on terminate. And now the two EC2 instances are getting terminated. You can click on the refresh button to see the current state of the EC2 instances. Both the surveys are terminated now. Let's check if there is any disk volumes left over. We have two volumes here. The state is available. That means it is not attached to any of the EC2 instances. To delete the volume, click on the checkbox left side of the volume. From the actions menu, click on delete volumes. Click yes to confirm. Status now change it to deleting. Click on refresh. Now the volumes are gone. Let's see if any snapshots are left over. There is nothing, so we are all good with the storage. Let's remove unused Elastic IP address. Click on Elastic IPs from left menu. We have two Elastic IPs. If you look under Associated Instance ID, you will see it is empty because these two Elastic IPs are not in use. To release Elastic IP, click on the IP address from Action menu. Click on Release Elastic IP Addresses. It will ask for confirmation. Click on Release. We need to do it again for the second IP address. From Action, click on Release Elastic IP Addresses. Click on Release. Deleted EC2 instance show in AWS console for a while. This is normal. After some time, it will disappear. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.